The fields of AI, neuroscience, and biotechnology are all moving in the direction of a concept that is out of the question, the possibility that death is not permanent. Throughout the course of human history, people have been terrified of the unavoidable, which is the silence that follows the last breath. What would happen, however, if death were nothing more than a matter of technicality? What if, with sufficient data, sufficient processing capacity, and sufficient neurological understanding, it were possible to retain you, not as a memory in the heart of another person, but as a live consciousness in the digital ether? Basically, instead of resting in peace, you'd be buffering in peace. But before starting this video again, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our fantastic content. For many years, the concept of mind uploading has been a persistent theme in science fiction. Black Mirror depicts a world in which people keep computerized clones of their loved ones. In the film Transcendence, the mind of a scientist who is nearing the end of his life is replicated in a quantum computer. The human brain has already been mapped by neuroscientists, and the level of detail that they have achieved is astounding. A detailed atlas of the ways in which thoughts, feelings, and memories are interconnected has been created as a result of the Human Connectome Project, which has mapped out hundreds of millions of brain pathways. While this is going on, Neuralink, the brain-computer interface business that Elon Musk founded, has implanted chips that enable the brain to communicate with machines. Humans who have been paralyzed are regaining the capacity to type only through their thoughts, while monkeys have been able to manipulate cursors with their brains. The secret code of the brain is no longer a holy secret. It is currently being read and deciphered, and it may soon be copied. At this rate, your brain might need a password reset every Monday morning. If scientists can copy the pattern of your brain, your memories, personality, and feelings, then a version of you could one day live inside a machine. This idea is called whole brain emulation. Researchers at places like Oxford and MIT are already studying how it might work. AI models like GPT-5 can already copy how people write, finishing sentences in their style. Voice cloning can recreate your voice from just a few minutes of audio. Apps like Replica and Project December used to make chatbots that act like real people. In 2020, Microsoft created a chatbot that could talk like a deceased person using their texts and social media posts. That same year in South Korea, a mother used virtual reality to meet her dead daughter. With AI, motion capture, and voice synthesis, engineers recreated the girl's look and voice. When the mother reached out to hug her, crying, it was as if death had briefly been undone. Somewhere, even ghosts are thinking, well, that's awkward. We've been replaced by code. As AI becomes more adaptable, it will not only replicate your personality, it would be possible for your digital self to think independently, carry on discussions that you had never completed, and follow passions that you had never had the time to explore. Imagine a version of yourself that is always acquiring new information, extending their expertise, and engaging with people of the next generation. Finally, a version of you that never needs coffee to stay productive. There is a possibility that your mind may survive your body. Currently, brain-computer interfaces are working to bridge that connection. Neurological implants are making it possible for individuals who are paralyzed to operate robotic limbs. Memory prostheses are devices that store and playback patterns of cerebral activity. In essence, these devices provide a form of backup for the human mind. Research groups are now doing experiments with memory prosthetics. Because who wouldn't want a cultural plus Z for embarrassing life moments? Imagine if you are able to retrieve any memory at any time and that you never forget a single day of your life since every memory is stored. Imagine a world in which AI amplifies your thinking, neural calibration evens out your emotions, and machine intelligence boosts your creativity. Nevertheless, the closer we go to eternity, 
the more trembling mankind experiences in front of its own reflection on itself. Does it really matter if a digital creature thinks it is you, speaks like you, and remembers your life if it believes it is you? Is it actually a shadow, a simulation that does not possess a soul? Certain philosophers contend that the act of cloning the mind does not retain identity. Rather, it merely results in the creation of a twin. Deep questions, right? Don't worry. Your digital clone will probably have an opinion on that too. In the event that an AI duplicate continues to develop, making decisions and gaining knowledge beyond your lifespan, but rather about letting who you could be stay alive. Without a sense of identity, immortality is nothing more than a death-like state. Despite the conceptual storms, AI is already pushing the boundaries of what is considered to be biological life. AI is being used by biotech companies, such as Altos Labs, which is backed by Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, to unravel and reverse the aging process at the molecular level. AlphaFold, developed by DeepMind, was able to decipher the structure of more than 200 million proteins, which completely altered our knowledge of how cells mature and finally die. Longevity researchers are investigating a concept known as cellular rejuvenation, in which AI analyses and repairs genetic damage. It is possible that the first humans to reach the age of 150 have already been born, and it is also possible that their longevity relies on algorithms. Great news! Just imagine your 150th birthday cake. Fire hazard level, extreme. The vision of a life that lasts forever is no longer confined to the realm of fantasy. It is transforming itself into code, residing in servers, and communicating through neural networks. These days, AI is more than just a tool. It is a mirror that reflects our deepest desires and our greatest fears. The aspiration to outlive the passage of time. Now, the issue that needs to be asked is not, can AI make us immortal? That question is, are we prepared to live forever? There is a possibility that divine light or explosions will not bring about immortality. Throughout the course of updates and upgrades, through humming servers and silent networks that store the essence of billions of people, it will come about in a stealthy manner. It is not that humanity will vanish, rather, it will progress. There will be no fading of the soul, rather, it will be rewritten using algorithms. When death is no longer a requirement, the very concept of life will require a new definition. Since, in the end, AI might not make us gods, it is possible that it will transform us into something completely different. Beings composed of mind, memory, and data that are alive in ways that we are unable to fully fathom at this time. A human being. It is not a machine. A brand new thing. Conceived in the electric afterlife that we had the courage to envisage. And let's be honest. If our digital selves start arguing with each other online, at least comment sections will finally make sense. Perhaps achieving immortality was never about overcoming death. Rather, it was about giving our thoughts the ability to live beyond it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.